Hello. Hey, thanks so much for opting in and actually scheduling an appointment. I wanted to let you know, first of all, thank you, uh, and to introduce you a little bit about what this is, this whole AI thing, and a little bit more about myself. So I'm going to take myself off of the screen here so that we can get going. Uh, my name is Dirk Hebden. I'm the founder of Dental Fractional CMO Services. What is a fractional CMO? It is an outsourced chief marketing officer. Okay, and so I am uh, doing that. I also own a company called Desert Media and Marketing Group. I've been helping practices scale their revenue through marketing innovations since 2010. I have actually worked with hundreds of companies and practices with regards to their marketing. I'm a certified fractional CMO with CMOX, which is geared specifically to fractional CMOs and Arizona State alumni. Go Sun Devils 91. Hopefully that doesn't date me too much. Um, as I stated, I actually worked with hundreds of different practices, everything from single practitioner to multiple location practices to those that have multiple dentists within the same. So just to let you know, I've run the whole gamut and worked with orthodontists as well as cosmetic dentists. So definitely know my stuff when it comes to, uh, to, cos uh, to dentistry. One thing I've learned is people do business with people and clinics that they know, like, and trust. And how do they get to know you? Well, that's through website and content that you have up online. How do they get to like you? That's through social media. How do they get to trust you? That's typically through reviews and your reputation, both online and offline. And then how do you get found? If you're not found online anywhere, that's a big problem. Because it doesn't matter if you have a website or social media. If you're not even found, all that can be thrown out the window. So I'm going to talk specifically about how to get found and how to get patients quickly. Let's talk about AI, right? AI has the potential to disrupt and dethrone Google's dominance in search. Advancements in technologies such as natural language processing, machine learning, and natural networks. What happens is this allows AI-powered search to better understand user content, context, and preferences as compared to Google's traditional keyword-based algorithms. So keyword, the problem is, is there can be a lot of um, results that are not what we want, right? And that's why going off of these keywords, that's the reason why you have to have a lot of negative keywords when you're doing like Google ads and tell Google, I don't want people, whoever does do this kind of a thing. But AI, it is be able to understand what the whole user is all about and the user intent. And so what we do and what we've done is we've taken on AI and we have an actual automation in place. We know that in the secondary search market, there's hundreds of millions of websites with search capabilities. And people are putting us in these websites, their long tail keywords versus generic keywords, their high buyer intent. They're more specific, they're targeted, they're qualified, there's better chance of conversion. So our AI, it monitors the local search traffic looking for high buyer intent keywords that people are putting in the search bar. Now these people are problem and solution aware, they're actively looking for a provider right now, okay? So for instance, person that uh, knows that they need dental implants, right? They already know what dental implants are. They know that they need them and they are actually looking for a provider. And this, what we do is we're able to target your local area. And so then what we do is we, um, our AI connects, it takes these leads and it goes to big data. In case you don't know what big data is, Google is an example of big data, right? Google knows and it records everywhere that you go online, the different websites, your likes, your interests. Same thing with Facebook. Facebook, Facebook is a part of that big data. And it, it gathers information. It, actually, your internet search provider, that ISP, is happy to provide big data with information. right? So Google pays for that. And it gathers all this uh, data. right? And so what we're able to do is our AI then will go to big data and it will you know, say, hey, these are these leads and Google then gives us actual data on these leads. Again, these are high buyer intent leads. You can see the kind of data that we can get. First and last name, a couple of emails, phone numbers, and the full address, right? We're able to get this. So we're, we get, it's more powerful information than any other, any other lead that you could ever have. Facebook leads, they don't ever give you this kind of thing. Even Google Ads, nothing like this, right? 
And so these people, we know uh, that they previously opted in on various websites. And this is one way also, again, that your internet search provider provides and sells this information to big data. Big data then sells this information to entities like and including our AI system. So it's 100% legal, ethical. You know those uh, when you're going on to different websites and have the cookies, people don't realize what they're doing when they're um, allowing those, right? It, it's, again, it's all part of big data. And so we know that these people, they're red hot leads, they're actively looking for a provider right now. Our AI sends their information to a Google spreadsheet, like you saw there, that you have access to, we have access to, and then we have an automation where an email gets fired off right away to them, right? And it basically introduces your practice in real time. And we're going about basically assisting the law of attraction or the law of vibration, right? If you've ever heard of those laws, people in the vibration, for instance, of dental implants, right? All of a sudden they get an email, bing, while they're looking. This all happens real time, right? Uh, and they get an email. And again, what we're doing is we're introducing your practice. We provide a testimonial and an offer for them to click on. And then we send them to a landing page that has more information about your practice, testimonials, and again, the offer. So what we do is we have an automation in play. The first one gets fired off right away. Second one, the next day. Again, this is information. It looks like it's coming from you, but it's information about your practice because we need to have people get to know you, get to like you, and get to trust you, right? And in order to do that, we need to send them to a landing page, but we need to talk to them and give them and provide them some testimonials, right? So we do this in a series over 10 days uh, where we have this landing page. And of course they have this new patient VIP hotline. It's a tracking number, it goes right directly to your office. Now this new patient offer page, just gives you an idea. Like for instance, $29 exam, digital x-rays, it might be 79, whatever it is, we wanna make sure it's enticing. But we have a click to call and then we had a form fill and the other thing we really re recommend is having the ability for people to book an appointment on your calendar, on your schedule right away, right? So there's no phone call. There's no filling out a form and hoping that somebody uh, returns their call or, you know, there's none of that. They're able to book right away. So that's the preferable way. But if you don't have that capability, then we're going to have that click to call and a form fill for people to be able to take advantage of. So we send them to a thank you page. On this thank you page, if we can have a little brief video about you or about the practice there, we'll have a redemption coupon sometimes that again, we want people to go all the way through. And then what we're doing is we're gonna text them information on the next step. If they haven't booked their appointment, we're gonna say, give, us our, give our office a call. This number, again, it's a tracking number. We're happy to book. Now, in case we don't hear back from you within 24 hours, we're gonna have one of our front desk office staff give you a call and help you get that appointment or schedule that appointment. And then we're gonna send your office um, this these people that are interested in booking that appointment. So what's the problem? What's the framework? What's the promise? The problem is, is you don't have enough uh, good leads. You don't have enough patients. They're not quality patients. And the promise is a fully automated lead engagement, lead management appointment system. Every lead is gonna be messaged and contact. You'll have 20 to 30 appointments scheduled on your calendar, right? And you'll be able to track and measure. So what we're doing is we're engaging people again through this AI. We manage, we call, qualify these leads. We schedule these appointments. We're doing this through an automation. We make sure that nothing gets left, right? We're doing this follow-up automatically. So this is what we do in as a system. And let me show you something, uh, the results. Right, week three, they had 58 uh, patients. Week four, 106. Week five, 86. Week six, 78. Now, this is through Revenue Well. And in case you don't know Revenue Well, the third party company that basically is an in between between EagleSoft, which is your patient management system, and the front desk. And we're able to get access so we have visibility on new patient appointments. We want to see what's going on with the, what we're doing. So you can see week seven, 78, week eight, 105, 100, 110, 71, 93. So you can see we do, we can generate a lot of appointments if you can handle it. If you can't, then we back it down. But this is uh, Dr. Kalantari uh, and this is the review that she left. 
every day, every week. She gets between 75 and 100 new patients every single week. Here's Dr. Watley. Uh, we do all of his marketing for him. I'm a CMO for him, basically, and he is jam-packed full, loves exactly what we're doing from him. Dr. Franklin, we've been working with him for over five years. Dr. Purdom uh, also been working with him for uh, a long time. He says uh, definitely it's the best thing he's ever seen. Uh, this AI pre-targeting developer, just so you know, we didn't invent this, right? I'm not that smart for sure. But the developer actually has been working with huge companies. Right? They're the ones that refined this. They're actually now working with lots of different small businesses. They came to us. They said, look, this will absolutely work with cosmetic dentists. And so we began working with them and absolutely it does work with them. So just know that there's a lot of uh, people that know what they're doing uh, on the AI level. And that's the reason why we're able to get the results. So we've got a couple of options for compensation, right? One, we have a pay per patient seen all the way through, right? Treatment, I should say pay per treatment. Uh, we do a revenue share model, right? So in that way, there's no out of money pocket um, before it actually happens. Typically, this is between 10 and 15%. We have a pay per appointment generated, right? And actually, this should say pay per appointment completed, not generated, but completed. That runs about $120 per appointment. Or we have a guaranteed monthly appointment so you don't pay, and that's as low as $50 per appointment. So we can discuss the particulars of each on our call, but uh, definitely look forward to uh, meeting with you. Hopefully uh, have a better understanding of what AI is and how we can generate these people. And it's nothing like Google. Uh, we don't even deal with Google, right? Other than Google is a part of that uh, big data. Um, but it is not Google ads. It's not Facebook ads. We know that just uh, it doesn't uh, work much very well, whereas this does. So look forward to our call. I appreciate your time. Take care. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.